In this module, we are going to discuss screening from mechanical ventilation. The learning objectives of my talk are to learn how to assist for the readiness of weaning, to understand various methods of weaning, to learn the peri-extubation care, to learn the approach to a patient with difficult weaning. Weaning is a process of decreasing ventilatory support and allowing patient to assume a greater proportion of their ventilation. And if you want to define this, is it is defined as the progressive reduction in the ventilatory support leading up to extubation. That's what we call a weaning. Why we want to wean a patient? Of course, when you put a patient on a ventilator, every next day, every physician wants to extubate that patient. Because if you wean a patient early from the ventilator, there are lesser chances of ventilator associated pneumonia, decreased ventilator associated lung injury, decreased ICU length of stay and overall reduced mortality, decreased chances of venous thromboembolism and gastrointestinal bleeding. Patients on ventilator, the mechanical ventilation and the coagulation abnormalities are the two important risk factor for bleeding. Similarly, a patient on a ventilator is immobilized on the bed and that predisposes them to venous thromboembolism. All of these have lot of morbidity and mortality. Weaning involves two processes. One is the discontinuation from the ventilator and the second is the extubation. When you want to find out the liberation from the ventilator or the first step, discontinuation of the mechanical ventilation, which itself is a two-step process. First, every day in the morning you need to find out whether patient is ready for weaning or not or what we call readiness testing and the second step is the weaning from the ventilator. So what are these uh, uh, readiness testing? You know uh, this should be undertaken daily and this readiness testing is that whether a patient would be able to tolerate when you wean him off the ventilator. For readiness testing there are clinical criteria. There are clinical, objective clinical criteria are evaluated to determine whether this patient is ready to begin weaning or not. Some clinician also consider some physiological test.